Hello, the Daily Purge. Inside again. You know, it's getting to be winter time. I like to do them outside, but I'm sitting at the desk anyway, so I figured I might as well just knock it out while I'm working. I got about five minutes before my next call. I want to get on today to talk about the six things that will create life and ease in life that it's hard to understand. I mean, it's hard to believe sometimes. I want to jump right in. It's called the six essential human needs. Six essential human needs comes from a woman called Chloe Madonis. And they're broken into two categories. One is the personal needs or the personality needs. And the, ones are, the other ones are the needs of the spirit. You know, we talk about the spirit. That's sort of the intrinsic, un, non-tangible sort of, um, you know, the issues that we go through in life. That we want to have that feeling of betterness, greatness, and that kind of stuff. So I want to talk about the six essential human needs. The first one is certainty or comfort. And um, I'll go through the, the um, definitions here in a second. But... First essential human need, certainty and comfort, right? Second one, uncertainty and variety. Third one is significance. Fourth one is love and connection. Fifth is growth. And the sixth is contribution. If I slide up and we start at the top and we go, the six essential human needs, uh, certainty and comfort is we need to feel safe, right? Everyone wants to avoid pain and feel comfortable in, in, the, in the environments that they're in and our relationships. And we want to have some sense of security and certainty knowing where the next meal is going to come from and knowing how to obtain the care when I'm sick. Things like that. That certainty is super important. And then again, you might ask yourself, why would I need uncertainty? Well, it's uncertainty slash variety. Everyone needs variety in life. Otherwise, you go crazy, right? Our bodies, our minds, our emotional well-being require uncertainty, exercise, suspense, surprise. And the excitement comes from a variety. Um, is uh, comes from variety is necessary to feel alive. I mean, this is Something that I think everybody can understand. And here's a big one, significance. If you're in a team and you see someone acting out, right, and they're loud and boisterous, they're, they're looking for significance. And when you know that, you give them a little bit of significance, you give them some alone time in front in the spotlight, and boom, they're taken care of. It's like a, it's like a, a prescription almost. So significant, significance. Every person needs to feel important at some time. Needed. They need to feel needed. They need to feel wanted. And it comes from comparing ourselves to others. So we can feel significant because we have achieved something built something or succeeded at something. Or, you'll see this a lot, uh, we can seek significance by tearing down someone else or somebody. I wouldn't suggest that, but that's what a lot of people do, right? And then we have love and connection. Everyone needs connection with other human beings and everyone strives for the hopes for love. Can, can, I, can, can you agree? The need to be loved is characteristic of all <clears throat> human beings, which can also be togetherness, passion, unity, warmth, tenderness, and desire. That connection can be in a team, it can be with a partner, it can be with a friend, whatever it is. It can even be online with someone you don't know. So those first four, which are certainty, uncertainty, significance, and love, are in the personality needs. As a personality, you need that stuff. Now we're going to talk about spiritual needs. One is growth, and I think everyone can understand when we stop growing, we die. We need to constantly develop emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually anything that you want to remain in your life, whether it's your money, your health, your relationship, your happiness, or love, must be cultivated, developed, and expanded. That's why we need that growth. You need growth in relationships. You need growth in your business. You need growth in your self-development. That's, that's a need that you have. That's a spiritual need that you have. And when you know this and you have team members that are sort of drifting away, that's because they're not growing, right? Maybe, maybe they need a connection. And, that, and then you have, of course, contribution. This is the last one, also a spiritual need. To, that, and contribution means to go beyond our own needs and give to others. That bigger, bigger picture, that larger purpose. Oh, your tooth fell out. No. No. It's grow, oh, growing back in. A new one. Wow. Check that out, man. Awesome. Woof. Maxie's teeth are coming back. Cool. So, yeah, we need to go beyond our own needs and give to others, right? And giving to others means maybe mean giving community service, making charitable donations, planting trees, writing a book, or giving to one's children, right? Giving to one's children. It can, not only can everyone contrib contribute in some way, but contribution is essential to a sense of fulfillment and happiness. And all of these basic needs are used to balance out the four main areas of life that Lane and I talk about in the book, Unleash Humble Alpha, Body, Mind, Relationships, and Business. And it ensures that we are a good provider to all the stakeholders in our life enterprise that we talk about as well in the book. And, you know, so, the, the, again, the first four needs, certainty, variety, love, and significance um, are essential for human survival. And the rest, um, uh, growth, contribution, as needs of the spirit. And i got to tell you. I can't see any comments. I'm sorry if I if no one's if someone's commenting. I can't see for some reason. There's nothing happening. So again, if if you're looking at a way to steer your team and to support your team, all of the external structures that you have about leadership models and this that and the other and pipa po, that's one way of looking at it. But the real way of looking at it is you have six ways to solve any issue on the planet. 
and that's the six essential human needs. As long as there's a person involved, as long as there's a person connected, you know that you can solve all those problems with one of those six issues. Morning, Bobby. So I can see com uh, comments. I can see one of those issues. I, so I can solve every issue with one of those six essential human needs. I mean, think about that for a second. Any issue you have that has a person attached to it, you have six possible solutions, and every single one of them will work at a certain time. Again, if someone feels lost and sort of you see them drawing back in, in the company or your team members or even your partner, what are they missing? Are they missing the love and connection? Are they missing certainty, maybe variety? You know, you get bored, you go home, you go to work eight hours, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, go to bed, come home, eat dinner, go to watch TV, go to bed, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, and go to bed. After a while, you get bored, you start separating from your partner because you're both doing the same thing and you sort of like forget each other. You're missing the connection and you're missing the variety, right? Maybe your wife or your husband is home all day working and you come home from work expecting to get all the attention because you were out as a warrior and they were home cultivating the home, or the home culture, so to say. And they're looking for significance, but you're not giving it to them because you're the one that came home thinking that you, you know, you have to tell your story. And they're just sitting there at home thinking that, you know, feeling insignificance. Give them significance. Make them feel significant. Talk to them. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Things like that. That will change everything inside of them. So these six essential human needs, six essential human needs aren't just something that's cool to have. It's essential. Okay, everybody? Wish you a fantastic day. And remember, it's all about quality of life. Hey, Olga, good to see you. Everyone have a fantastic one. We'll see you tomorrow.